welcome to more. Welcome back. It's another brand spotlight, and this time we are doing fluffy powder products. We have lots. Um, I don't have that many. These are the traditional, like, plastic palette style. She has one of the new um, 12 pan Jerome's, and then I have a Z palette with um, single shadows. The single shadow is the same as in her 12. We have some repeats there. Um, first, I'm going to talk about this face powder. This is 06 F. I don't know if there's like a color thing here. Those things um, are huge. They're enormous. But like, they're super, super soft. Like, impressively soft. Um, setting powder, foundation, you know, like bronzers and contours. Like, it's kind of all in here. So it's something that you like, you'll find you use for these shades. And they're great, like, if you're um, a freelance or you do makeup on other people. Um, something like this in your kit is always going to be beneficial because you're going to kind of have the different skin tones. And since these are so, like, creamy and buttery, it's one of those things where you could take your brush and kind of swirl in multiple shades and mix these to make someone's perfect shade. So you may not be this dark or this light, but you could mix a little bit of this into this and make your color. So um, that's the idea with foundation palette, but it's really nice quality. I didn't actually order this with a whole look, 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 look mix up. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Jaclyn Hill. Not a lot because this is discontinued. I know the heartbreak is real on this. Um, I wanted this forever. Like after the first like production line of it, they only made like 300. They didn't make very many in the first round and they sent a lot of them to YouTubers and stuff. So it was kind of like super limited. There was a few, like when I say few, I mean like three or four on eBay and they wanted $85 for them. Um, these reach up like $27.99. They like put it back on the website and they were supposed to come out like April, March or April, and it came out like the very end of April. They got the restock on these. Uh, there was behind, there was a problem with shipping. They were sitting in like that big shipping embargo. They had all that problem in California. They were literally sitting in a crate on the shipping dock and they couldn't get them to Morphe. So they actually made them live on the website so you could order them, but you ordered them knowing that they weren't going to ship for three more weeks. Um, and they only allowed so many to order. So that's when I ordered it. And this sold out so fast and it broke the Morphe website. Like literally it broke the Morphe website when they were trying to do the second promote on this. Um, I'm really glad I got it. It is a gorgeous collection. Um, it's a lot of neutrals. And originally when I was looking at it online, I was like, man, how many browns and taupes do I need? Like oh. it looks so similar. But when you get it in person, like these two first two rows look I guess I should look this way. The top two rows look really similar, but they're not. I mean, there's so much fun in this palette. And like this orange that shade is really flaky. Like it's probably the least quality one in here. But it's such a fun well, color. Look at that color. Like it's so fun. We love. Um, there's a gorgeous like burlesque shade in here. Um, it's like rosy tones and really nice transition shades. And this crazy, almost like a makeup geek chickadee shade. So it, it's just different. This green shade that seems super random. But it is really pretty. It's almost like an emerald. I'm not good at watching. <laughs> um, but I'm it's my hands. And that orange. But it's gorgeous. And you can get so many looks. And there's so many tutorials on YouTube on how to use this palette. Um, but don't despair. Build your own. I can't. That's what I did. Like, if you want this that bad, like, I guarantee you can pick either 12 shades out of it that you can't die, that you just have to have. Put them in one of these. They have 24 pans like this, too. Yeah, so build your own or get a Z palette and build your own. All over the internet, you can find out these shade lists, like the yeah. numbers, the list numbers on this. Um, they don't put anything on the packaging or anything, so you're kind of, you gotta get. You gotta look it up. But, um, yeah, build your own if this is something you really, really want. It won't be twenty seven dollars. But probably a little bit more. You can get it if you're diehard on this. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm really glad that I have it. I do really enjoy it. So 
now we are down to single shadow love. I went out of route here. I have a make I have a Z palette full of makeup geek and I love my makeup geek shade. But they're all very neutral. I have some pops of color. I have this that's got a lot of neutral with some pops of color. So I decided that I was gonna go a little ham. And this is the only palette I have in my collection that has these bright colors on them here. So I can all watch them. This pink. Mm -hmm. Oof. Black and green. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. They're cray. Um, this one I think you have. Mm -hmm. They're super pigmented. Like, they're. Are you seeing this like single swipage? When I compare those, like, look at the pigmentation. Yeah. And let me tell you how much these puppies are. So you get how much makeup beats that size, which the quality I I would say was comparable. Yeah, you know, for most of the shades. Um, makeup beats are five ninety nine a pan. These now when she bought over two dollars a pan. When I bought them, they're now two thirty nine. So everyone's catching on, so they bumped up the price a little bit. But still, under $3 for a single eyeshadow. That's not even drugstore pricing. I don't even know what that is. And the Z palette is like 20 bucks. Roundabout. This is the large Z palette. This one's just not pink. But they have cute ones. I mean, you can get Z palettes in all kinds of different colors. And if you follow Z palette on like Instagram, they're always releasing like limited edition. They have like a really cute like chevron. chevron. The ones that are out right now that are real cute. Uh, I have three. Do you have two or three? I have the Sephora one. Oh, yeah, three. So I have the Sephora one deeper for like the big eyeshadow. I've only got one that's like depotted stuff in it. The rest of them I've ordered in pan form and used for them. But what I like about this style is you can make your own palette. Like if you're going to spend the money and you want to make one palette, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to save money going the Morphe route as opposed to a matte palette or a makeup geek palette. So, like, look at the pigmentation. Quality, these are great. Uh, especially for someone that's just starting. Even if you're not just starting and you just want to save money. I think that Morphe is the way to go. That was my route. I have been waiting to do the Z palette thing, but I didn't have the 20 bucks to blow on the palette itself. So, another option that Morphe gives you, which is great, they give you this option, which you they have... Four pans like this, 12 pans and 24 pans. So I went ahead and did the 12 pan, and you just order the single shadows. I I kind of went random. I went with the neutral for most of them and ordered three blue turquoise pops of color because I was fell in love. I've been really wanting to play with some blues. So that's kind of what she I this the other night, and so that's what resulted in this. Um, I will tell you this whole thing, sorry, it's going to flash you, this whole thing all together with the shadows, the palette, shipping, tax, and all, for me, was $39.99. So, to compare, she has 12 shades and then a plastic palette with a mirror. I don't yeah. have a mirror. So, my Z palette, like my Z pop plus, remember, I could 40 cents plus a shadow, but I spent about 80 bucks mm -hmm. on this, but it's 27 shades. And I enjoy the Z palette format. Um, to me, I don't use mirrors. Like in palettes, I use my big mirrors and my makeup mirrors, my like, well, what do I want to say? Magnifying mirrors. Um, so this is a good route for me. Uh, plus, I would like to spend a little more money to get more shades to give it a shot. Um, but I think that if you have a Z palette already that has like, a few match shadows and a few makeup beats or whatever. Check these out and compare the quality. You won't be disappointed. I want to swatch my favorite. Yeah, do it. Do it. Okay, oh, no. no. I just can't get over these. Okay, I need to look at the name of this one. Okay, this one is Mysterious. I think you have this one in one of yours of the Jacqueline Hill one. This one, these literally feel better soft. Like, I don't know. I'm so impressed when I got these. That one. Mm -hmm. But that's one swipe. One swipe. Your <laughs> arm, dude. How gorgeous is that? Like, that is beautiful. And then this other shade I absolutely love. This is like a brow bone highlight all over color. And again, it says like butter. This one is pink mascato. 
and that's just a very shimmery champagne color. It's beautiful. And then I just want to swatch. This is a color Andrew does not have. Ha. This is Ocean Frost. Look at that pigmentation. Insane. Gorgeous. Look at that with the pink mascara. Like, it's gorgeous. I'm so excited to try a look with these. I didn't get these too long ago, so I did my look today with them, which is kind of worn off because it's been on for like 13 hours. But I love these shadows. Good yeah, they're fun. And they're, they're, I don't want to say cheap. I don't like that word. They're inexpensive. They're an inexpensive alternative um, as opposed to, I mean, like the, even the La Palette nudes from L'Oreal are 20 bucks. And these fall are better. way better. So definitely give them a shot. Um, if you're in love with Morphe Singles or Morphe Palettes, we don't have a lot any of the like the regular collection snap palettes, and they have tons. So comment down below and let us know your like non-brush Morphe favorites. We know Morphe brushes are great, but we want to focus kind of more on their makeup. Um, so comment down below and let us know. And uh, look soon, we're gonna do some looks with these funky with colors. Some crazy colors. I'm gonna do a blue eye. I, I'm dying to do some hot pink in my life. Like, <laughs> We've been talking about it for weeks. Hot pink needs to happen for me, even if it's just an inner corner. So look forward to seeing some crazy shades coming out of uh, Miss Dre in the next couple weeks. And until then, bye, bye guys.